Hello. Hi. Um, usually this presentation is for about 30 minutes, so I'll talk very quick so you can get it. We have the in the the classical way. Uh, all right, uh, very quickly, go. Uh, I am Yuri, I work for Wikipedia, for Wikimedia Foundation. Um, about a year and a half ago, I started the project uh, with um, a few of my colleagues to get maps into Wikipedia world. Uh, there's a good reason for it. I mean, we're, Wikipedia is pretty big, but and it has tons of geospatial related information, but there's no maps people are forced to upload images. I mean, imagine SVGs and PNGs in the modern world uh, representing the world, uh, ge geographical data. So our first deliverable, something that's already active on most wiki projects except Wikipedia, uh, which is a map frame. You can insert a map directly into the page. Uh, Wikipedia is not there simply because we're afraid of, for our servers to insert it because of the traffic. Once we get the snapshot system so that you can show this image as a snapshot and then click and activate and then interact with it, then we'll switch it on in English Wikipedia. We'll probably enable it in smaller Wikipedias uh, pretty soon. Uh, other projects such as Wikivoyage, uh, Commons, Wikidata, they all already have this support. Um, the cool thing is that um, you can actually create it with Wikidata. You can, yeah, you can write a very complex uh, Sparkle query against Wikidata and extract data fr from it and draw it on the map. And that functionality is also already available. Like for example, here it's a uh, governors of the United States uh, drawn right on top of the map with their party affiliations and pictures and all that. Uh, all, uh, all this can be done by users. Uh, there's some uh, stuff that's being done by Julian, uh, integration of maps into search, into uh, commons where the picture was taken, into Wikidata coordinates, Again, something to simplify it. Um, as I said, Wikidata query results can be amazing. You can really tell a story there. Uh, this is a little thing about my little plug that someone else did for the editor where you insert a Wikipedia article and it automatically inserts a Wikidata ID. Without Wikidata IDs, we will not be able to show the relevant information. So please, please, please pay more attention to Wikidata IDs and I would love to talk to whoever wants to talk about automating this process even further. I know how OSM community loves bots. Um, yeah, I, I know. Um, so lots of data visualizations. I'll show it in one second. Um, and it all runs on Cartatharian, which is another uh, shameless plug, this is the server that we wrote to render vector, uh, vector tiles to the, um, uh, for everyone. So this is how it looks, like you see there's a link, you click on it, it pops up the map, you can just like uh, view, view what it looks like, and obviously it's zoomable and everything. Um, there's another little thing, this is a totally different system, it's called uh, Graphs. Uh, which uh, allows you to draw the same geo shapes uh, directly from OSM, but also uh, like with capitals uh, and however. All this can be done by users. This is not something that uh, any developers have to do on the back end. And th it's, that's the beauty of the data driven design. Uh, I'll take some questions now because otherwise I kind of rushed through it and I know a few things are not clear. Questions? Can the next speaker already come forward and yeah. prepare the presentation? I guess, that, yeah. Mm. Uh, there's a question here. And there's one. The license. The, the, uh, the license. Ah, this is annoying. Um, the the. 
the licensing, uh, we're basically, um, it's going to be an open license. It's already an open license. Uh, our legal department is still working on final terms of that. But basically, it's a uh, probably CC by. Uh, that's my guess would be, um, again, something to be clarified with the legal department. But I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to be. And uh, my hope is that you'll be able to embed it into, directly into different wiki sites, uh, different sites. Uh, there was a question here. <laughs> I'm happy I'm providing some entertainment here. <laughs> How about we pass this mic? Thank you. Um, there was uh, some um, rendering for international displaying languages in uh, Wikimedia Foundation. I would like what becomes this project. Yeah. So uh, this is a huge, huge um, problem for us. We want to render maps in every possible language. Uh, currently, the fundamental issue is that Mapnik does not support HStore. In other words, there's no possibility to stick every possible translation of a road or a city into vector tile. Once it's possible, we'll render it in every possible way. Um, if someone wants to take on Mapnik C++, please come forward. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so it's a problem. Uh, we actually have a developer who is willing to work on that. We just need some, uh, give them some help to get started. Uh, like write a unit test of what's expected of them and they'll, they'll do the work. They already did some mapnik work for us, uh, solving uh, international uh, font issue with uh, multilingual bug. Any other questions or come talk to me afterwards. Next.